Hi, this video is part of a playlist we are going to explore SQLize. We are going to use the Node.js programming language for performing connections in a MySQL database and perform the whole kind of SQL operations. Insert, update, deletion, and also all kind of carries you could need. So I wish you success and let's start. The many-to-many -many relationships is always one challenge for developers when we have to map that. It's because it normally involves not only the entities, the models, like here user and profile, but also some kind of table to link both entities, like here this user profiles. The idea here is to show to you how we can use that and give it to you an example that perform that in one real example. In our case, we are going to use this MySQL database, this standard database they provide to us, this Sakila that comes uh, together uh, with the installation, most kinds of installations. And you have here the actor tables in which we have the list of actors. We have the films in which they have worked with. And we have also the relationship saying which are the films each actor has worked with and which actors have worked in which films. And it's here in this relationship table film actor. If you can hear, you have here so the relationship. So one actor could have worked in more than one film and in one film we could have many actors working in that. Okay? And the idea is show to you in Node.js, how we can use SQLize for performing that mapping. So, let's start. Okay, this code, as any others we have utilized here in the channel, the link to download this code is here in the descriptions. Don't worry to copy that, but it's a very short code. We have here just four, 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 four lines of code. Okay, it's a very short code just to give you directly the example you need to. So, we need just to import this SQLize uh, dependence. Here is the hint for that. You can see another videos when we do that together here. Okay, and here is the thing. We have mapped the actor uh, model. It's basically taking the actor table and mapped the most relevant columns to our example. We have done the same for the film table. Okay, it's important to highlight you don't need to map the every column of your table, like this film table, for example. You can see here we have a lot of columns, a lot of columns, but for my case, I don't want all of these columns here. I want just the title, description, maybe the year, just some columns. So in my Node.js program, I just map the columns is interesting to my case. So film ID, title, description, release year, and on that. So both ends are mapped, but they are not related each other. There is no information saying one actor could be related to more than one film and the other case as well. So we, here is the stuff for these many-to-many -many relationships. We have basic to define um, then when one new one new model and this model we are going to use these references okay the reference is a stuff you have not tried in the two models we have defined before actor and film and basically say this column here actor id that is actually the name of the column it's important this is the name of the column we have in this table film actor it's Film actor, it's here. So film ID, actor ID. We basically map the column to the Node.js program. Map the column and say what model it it's linked to. It's linked to the model actor, and you do the same for the another column. It's linked to the model film. Just that, okay? But more important than that, after defining the model, you need to execute these two lines of code. Of course, just that already works for some kind of operations. 
but it's more important to do this the film. Say that one film could belong to many actors and that one actor could belong to many films. Okay, and here again we need to say what are the foreign key we utilize in this table here. Okay, when doing that, what sequelize will do to us? Objects from this model and objects from this model will be will receive one new method that is the get films for actor. The actor gets the get films method and the film gets the get actors method. So you can see this get films and this get actors was not programmed by us, the, the developers that utilize sequelize, but it was automatically created by these methods here. When we say that one film could be belongs to many actors, it creates automatically the get actors method to us. And when we say one actor could work in more than one film, it creates automatically the get films method. And this get films, uh, it will try to do one join, one join in the SQL database, taking all the films based in the actor uh, primary key. So now that's what it does, okay? So the most stuff here is I have one actor and then I can ask how it's films. I have one film I can ask for how it actors and it really delivered to us the, the right answer in this object here, okay? And here I have just set one, another example, like I go directly to the actor film model and ask, give me um, how our entries related to this actor ID, so how the films this actor ID, I, um, ID has worked with, or I could do the, the other case as well. Uh, so you can work the way you prefer, but normally maybe these stuffs are easier. So now let's put this stuff to, to work with and try to execute that and see the outputs. Basically we are here doing the first output one specific actor, the actor with the primary key one, and then all the films it works with, then it's going to print that here. Then we could do the same thing for films, okay? I will comment this for we don't, do not have a very, very dirty output here. So I will comment these lines below, so we can focus just in this first part of the um, of the actor, specific actor and its films. So let's ask that for running and take a look here in the output. So as you can see here, first of all, it has worked in a lot of films. So let's go in the very beginning from this printing stuffs. Okay, it's really, really a lot of. Okay, here we are. First, if you see here in the in the print, first we print the actor loaded. That's the actor that has the primary key one. So here is the actor. So here we have all the um, all the fields: first name, last name, last up to date ID. So all the fields. So that's why the console becomes so dirty because it prints a lot of information is not so relevant to our to, to us. And then once it has printed the actor, it then starts to print the films, it's, it's this part now. And then now it's printing one array, you can see here. It's one array, it starts with this, this bracket here, and now um, it starts to print every film it has found. So here is one film, here is another film, and each film has its own attributes. So here is one film, you can see here. And now the second film is here, a different film. So it will follow in all the cases. We can also see here in the output the, um, the SQL instruction SQLize has, has uh, made to us. It basically performed the select in the, um, in the film table and then perform one inner join with film actor and then it can bring to us the whole output. But with what we will win here, we don't need to write the SQL and perform the whole mapping from entities and its age groups. We really have here all the data from the actor and all the data from, from the films.
and on the columns we have um, we have mapped for the film. If we have mapped more columns, they will come together here in the output. Okay, the the role part of the code is just the doing the same thing, but not in the perspective of the actor, but in the perspective of the film. But it's the same output. So that's the idea. I hope with this example you can perform your many-to-many -many relationships you know, using SQLize that sometimes we take here in the official documentation this is a pope, but sometimes not enough for performing uh, that in our real case. So the idea here is give to you one complete example from the beginning to the end uh, mapping one table that is in this standard data set. Okay, so thank you for watching and see you in our next video.